Hey, it's your boy T Lokai, and in this video, I'm showing you guys um, pretty much our game against the Pacers. But before we go into that game, before the 76ers going into that game against the Pacers, I wanted to look at the loss that was handed to us from the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, there are a lot of things to learn, as you can, as you will be able to see in this video. If you want to see those box cards, you can pause the video or go back to them and pause the video. So this is pretty much the start of the game, and boy, was it just a really crazy and intense one. There's a lot to learn um, as I come back and I'm able to review with you guys. I know you guys are seeing this firsthand, and um, not firsthand, but I know you guys are seeing this and. And you really haven't seen, you really didn't, you know, go through with me playing it. But this for me is kind of like reviewing the game tape footage. And I'm going to be showing you guys, like with all the videos, some very key gameplay moments, some very key play moments that um, you can learn from and that I can learn from. Uh, and it's not really like a tips and tricks video, but as you can see, Lorenzo Well gets the first tip off. Now, um, there's a lot of focus on using those as well because he has a lot of speed and size and he can really move a lot faster and a lot quicker than a lot of centers. So having him coming from um, the outside and going in on Roy Hibbert just seemed unthinkable. Then we tried to play defense. Now I realized looking at this we have a lot of struggles with defense. I try to commit to a double team off the pick and roll but I didn't really play the passing lanes as well as I should have given up a layup to Roy Hibbert as you see this is a play from Kobe um, I realized that I don't use Kobe as much but I got blocked trying to do a spin layup thought I had the lane and I just you know didn't stick to just shooting the mid range for Kobe uh, also here in this video you, you'll see um, me just pro trying to play defense on everybody as you can see, Michael Carter Williams gets dragged into the paint. Now, I don't know whether to blame the computer or myself, but in that play, I should have been aware that I needed to get Michael Carter Williams out to the three-point line. As you can see, we give up another three. Um, that was off an off-ball screen. And after the first quarter, you see that the score is 24 to 37. You know, we really let the Pacers go on a run due to offense like that, not being able to recover off of off-ball screens. Now it shows you a play where we kind of stepped up our offense in the um, coming out. Um, and this is where Lotus Noel is key again. He uses his speed to, to you know, make plays. And if you notice, Lotus Noel was able to run out to the three-point line. You see how fast he got there? I was able to use my speed with Lotus Noel. I realized that I shouldn't have brought Marcus Smart all the way out. And if um, Sloan would have made that inside pass, um, that would have been really dangerous. Also, it would have been really dangerous if if we didn't get the rebound because it was only Troy Murphy in there against two bigs and I'm surprised he even got the rebound. We gave the Nolan well in the post. I wanted to test Nolan Well's post game and he hit the turnaround fadeaway which is really great to see him make but I don't think that's consistent with him. Next play here you see a little pick and roll action. Kobe gives the ball to Marcus Aldridge. Marcus passes it back out to Andrew Wiggins. Somehow um, there's like a stump, some like Roy Hibbert stumbles inside the paint. I don't know what happened, but Lamarcus always gets the easy layup. Michael Carter Williams then goes back to try and play some really great D, and it's just it's it's not looking good for him. Um, no as he plays D on Roy Hibbert, um, and he kind of stops making Roy Hibbert pass the ball back. But as you can see, Lerzowell runs to the three-point line, waves his arm, doesn't really jump to contest the shot. So that's why I was saying it's not really looking good for him on that play. He should have jumped and was able. He should have been able to jump and cause some distraction. Let's not block that shot. Now coming up with this play here, my Carter Williams bringing up the ball again. He has had a lot of struggles recently with his turnovers, um, but he gets a nice play where he passes the ball to Nolan's Noel. As you can see on this play, that he makes a nice dish in Nolan's Noel. Nolan's Noel speed. Then again, comes through to get an easy layup. Um, and I realized that in the next couple of games in the future, I really have to rely on that speed and that that quickness to be able to get those out there. You know, good defense by Kobe on a big man. I was really surprised that he was able to stop him. 
But as you can see, we ran up the court and we really didn't know what to do on the fast break. And it was kind of crazy because, you know, if Marcus Arnold didn't get that rebound, that would have been the ball going the other way. And Michael Carter Williams hits the mid-range jumper. But you have to play, if we're playing offense, we got to play defense. As you can see, Jerry Jack easily gets to the paint. Luckily, he is stopped by Lorenzo Well, but then there's a foul from LaMarcus Aldridge. Luckily, um, he, he didn't make both free throws, and he was able to do the outlet pass to Kobe, who hit the easy jumper. So thank you, David West, for missing that free throw. But that one missed free throw doesn't help in the end, as in halftime, the Pacers are up by 15. And as you can see, we're just having a horrible game. We're not getting anything except the less amount of fouls, sports, and more offensive rebounds. But coming into the third quarter, we expect things to be a little bit different. But um, it just turned out to be more of the same. And I kind of just you know wanted to show you guys two very exciting plays. Well, not very exciting, but two very key important plays that are worth looking over and worth taking some tips from. Kobe was unable to stop the floater, but the guy who was in the paint in front of him some for some reason did not take the chance to contest that shot. And I guess you need to, I needed to switch to the paint guy in order for that to be stopped. As you see, I'm bringing Norris Noel and putting Norris in a situation where he pulls it up and he gives it to Marcus Audrey who has finisher inside the paint. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those two plays where, you know, we had bad defense and, you know, after that third quarter, the fourth quarter wasn't able to record effectively with my um, game capture and, you know, it just turns out to be that we lost this game. It was no surprise. Um, you can look at the box scores, take from what you want. Uh, we gave up a lot of points with um, earlier in the game and we just really could never recover from giving up those points. Mario Carter Williams had seven turnovers. That is a big problem and we hope to fix that. Um, but yeah, this is your boy T-Law Kai signing out. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Peace.